The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 25th Chapter, Text Number 44, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 12, 1974, in Bombay, India. Therefore, persons whose mind whose minds are fixed on the Lord engage in intensive practice of devotional service. That is the only means for attainment of the final perfection of life. Itabani Vulukesmin Pungsang Nisre Sudaya Tibrena Bhakti Jogina Muna Majjat Pitang Siram this is the conclusion of Bhakti Yoga. Kapildev has explained Bhakti Yoga. In the last verse, we have discussed Jnana Vairagya Jaktena Bhakti Yoga. No. Bhakti Yoga is not the business of the police or ignorant. One who is advanced in jnana vairag knowledge and renunciation. Another name of bhakti-yoga is renunciation. Uh, vairag vidya Bhakti-yoga means the education of renouncement. <coughs> sarva bhoma bhattacharya he explained bhakti yoga vairagya vidya vairagya vidya nija bhakti yogam yes the bhakti yoga begins when we accept krishna's instruction sarva dharman paritajya mami kang saranam uh, we have to renounce all nonsense engagement that is called sarva dharma. We have accepted everything as dharma, saṃsār dharma, eh, grihastha dharma, eh, raja dharma, eh, samajik dharma. There are so many we have created. Uh, and we are still going on. Uh, dharma means function, characteristic. So we are planning one after another various plans to be very happy in this material world. <coughs> but uh, they will not make us happy, that's a fact, because this place is certified by the Supreme Personality of Godhead as Dukhalam Asasat. This is a place for misery. This material world is a place for misery. This body is meant for suffering miseries. And the land is meant for suffering miseries. <clears throat> that we do not understand. But we are placed in a miserable condition all round. That is material life. Dukkhalam asasa. But we have got attachment for this material happiness. Even it is dukkhalam, it is very much painful, miserable, and we are making plans how to become happy here. This is called struggle for existence. It is going on perpetually. <coughs> we are making some plan to be happy and it is dismantled by the laws of nature. You study the whole history of the world, it is simply struggling. We are making some plan to be out of miserable condition, but it is causing another miserable condition. Therefore it is called Dvijji Sagunamai Mama Maya Durata. This is Maya. We are simply planning to overcome some problem, some difficulties. But it is becoming more difficult. 
This is the fact. Uh, therefore, our determination should be to uh, renounce this association of this world. Uh, that is called mukti. Renounce this material association and come to the spiritual platform. Uh, because we are spirit soul. Our real place is a spiritual platform. Our activities should be on the spiritual platform. Then we'll be happy. The same example as I have given many times, that we are animals of the land. So if you are put into the water, then have an expert swimmer, I may be or you may be, uh, it is simply struggle for existence. There cannot be any happiness in the water. But if you are taken out of the water and put again into the land, then you will get relief. So that is the position. We have come to this material world for sense gratification. The more expertly we make plan for our sense gratification, it will never be successful. So, we have to come out of this material activities and uh, act on the platform of spiritual life. That will make us. Therefore it is said, ekāvāne-valokesmin puṁśāṁ nisveso udaya. Udaya means rising, just like sujyo udaya. In the darkness, at night we are in the darkness, in the morning there will be sujyoda and then there will be light. So this is conclusion that in this material world we are simply struggling for our existence with a whole future hope that we shall be happy <coughs> by this plan, but it will never be possible. Simply he will be a builder, just like the animal goes to the desert and he sees mileage, a shadow of water in the desert. He is thirsty, he goes to the water, and the water goes again farther away. And he jumps over, jumps over in this way, being thirsty, and in the hot sand he dies. This is called Maya Marishika. Our struggle for existence is like that. We are thinking, let me go a little farther and we shall be happy. But actually, where is the water? There is no water in the desert. But those who are less intelligent, like animals, they seek happiness here in this material world. Just like the animal running after water, in the desert, maya uh, marichuka. So these attachments, this false attachment has to be given up. Uh, and that is uh, possible when we engage ourselves in the bhakti-yoga. Uh, bhakti-yoga. Itāvāne <clears throat> valokasmin puṁsāṁ nisraśa udaya Tibrena bhakti yoga. Tibrena and very seriously, not superficially. Tibrena bhakti yoga. Krishna wants to see that whether he has finished his all material desires. Then he is very much pleased. He says, Sarva Dharma and Parita. Sarva Dharma means we have created so many dharmas. Ah, that is not dharma. That is dharma. We generally become so-called religious for artha, for money. Uh, dharma artha. Artha, money is required. Why? For sense gratification, kama. And when you are dissatisfied, then you want moksha. <coughs> Therefore, we are actually busy with four kinds of activities, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. And above this, 
when I uh, go above this, then bhakti begins. Oh, that is the beginning of bhakti. That one to uh, nishraya. Shreya. Shreya means ultimate good. There are two things, prayer and shreya. Uh, <coughs> shreya means ultimate good. If you act in such a way that ultimately you actually become happy, that is called śreya. And if you want immediately some happiness, never mind what it will be in future, that is called prayer. Uh, so less intelligent person or children, they want prayer. They do not want śreya. Uh, a child is playing whole day, he likes it. That is prayer. And if you want to send him to his school to be educated, he doesn't like. Because that is Shreya, uh, ultimate goal. So nobody is interested. Still, the Shastra gives us an instruction that you try for the Shreya. Don't be captivated by the prayer. Shreya and Shreya. And this Shreya, the supreme Shreya is Bhakti Yoga. That's what it says that itavaneva lokas mean punsang nisresa udaya. Shreyasa and nisresa. Nisresa means ultimate. Nisresa udaya. As soon as you take to Krishna consciousness, then your uh, ultimate goal or ultimate uh, perfection begins immediately. And this Bhakti Yoga means Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasivanam Archanam Bandhanam Dasam Sakham Atman Vedanam. These are the nine different processes of Bhakti Yoga, of which the most important thing is sravanam, hearing. Sravanam kirtanam, Vishnu. And about whom? About Vishnu, not for anyone else. That is sravanam kirtanam, Vishnu. Everything bhakti means uh, uh, devotional service, loving devotional service for Vishnu or Krishna. That is not any other service. That is not bhakti. Bhakti, the word, can be used only in relationship with the Supreme Personality of God. It cannot be. If you say, I am Desha Bhakta, I am a very devotee of my country, of my society, of my family, of my cat, of my dog, that is not applicable. Bhakti is not applicable. Anywhere, except in relationship with the Supreme Personality of God, uh, that is bhakti. Uh, therefore, Shastra particularly says, Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu. Not any other Savanam Kirtanam. If you say that I am hearing about my country's welfare, about my society's welfare, about humanity's welfare, and I am preaching this. That is not bhakti. Ah, that is māyā. Ah. It is very difficult to understand. But if you uh, talk about Krishna and hear about Krishna, then your other services will include. It is all pervading. <coughs> Just like one is interested in the flower of the tree, if he wants, if he says that I shall water the flower, uh, because I am interested in the flower, or I shall water the fruit, but that will not help you. Uh, the, if you water on the fruit or on the flower because you are interested, the fruit also will dry and the flower also will dry. But if you water on the root of the tree, which carries the fruit and flower, your fruit and flower automatically will live. Mm. Similarly, if you render service to Krishna, bhakti, then your so-called social service, country service, 
family service, everything will be perfect. You don't have to endeavor separately for social service uh, or any other service. Uh, therefore it is said, tibena bhakti yogena, without any division. You don't think that if I simply become devotee of Krishna and worship in the temple, then what will happen to my country, what will happen to my family, what will happen to me, so many other things, uh, that will be automatically served. If you serve here Krishna, then you will give the best service to your family, to your society. Uh, there are many instances. Uh, just like Pallad Maharaj <coughs> was giving service to the Lord, and his father was very angry, and there was uh, very much misunderstanding between the father and mother, and the father and the son. Ultimately, the father was killed by by Nishinga there, uh, and Pallad Maharaj saw it. Uh, but does it mean superficially it appeared that Prahlad Maharaj did wrong because his father was killed before him? Suppose if your father is killed before you, and if you stand only, if you don't don't speak any protest eh, to protect the father, who will uh, agree with your? And everyone, nobody. Everyone will say, you are such a coward that your father was killed before you. You did not protest. You did not try to give any protection. Uh, this is superficial. Uh, but actually the son, Prahlad Maharaj, was giving the best service to his father. Best service. Uh, because in the Shastra it is said that if a person, if a demon is killed, by God, he immediately is liberated. Uh, even though he was not liberated, thinking that he was very, very sinful, uh, of course he was liberated, but Prahlad Maharaj was thinking that my father was so sinful, so much against God consciousness, uh, he might not be liberated. Uh, so therefore Prahlad Maharaj, when he was uh, uh, requested uh, when he was rather um, offered any benediction he wanted to take from Nishinga there, he refused. My dear Lord, please do not induce me in that way. I am born in a family, demonic family. To gain some material profit is my natural propensity, and you are the uh, of- offerer. You are offering me. I can take anything from you, but uh, this is not my business. Because I have rendered service to you, it does not mean that I will take some remuneration for you. This is business. Bonik, sabai bonik. This is mercantile man's. But I am your eternal servant. I do not expect any reward from you. Uh, but that Prahlad Maharaj, later on, he asked Nishinga there, my dear Lord, one thing I may ask from you, eh, what is that? Now, my father was atheist number one, and he has committed so many offenses at your lotus feet. Now he is killed, eh, so I want that he may be excused and given liberation. So he was already liberated still. as affectionate son, he was anxious to know whether my father is liberated or not. So this was confirmed by the Lord, not only your father, his father's father, his father, his father, up to fourteen generations, everyone is liberated. Because a Vaishnava son like you is born in this family. So my point is, by serving the Supreme Lord, one gives the best service to the family. Because if one becomes a Vaishnā, pure Vaishnā, the whole family, up to fourteen generations, they become liberated. Therefore, tibrena bhakti yogena. We should not 
ah, divert our attention for any other service. Uh, we should simply concentrate for rendering service to the Supreme Law. Uh, this is the conclusion. Tibena bhakti yogena mana mui yodpita. Mai unto me, the Supreme Law. Uh, Krishna, this is Krishna consciousness. All is thinking of Krishna. Mayat. That will help. Tibrena bhakti yogena. All is that is also advised in Bhagavad Gita. Manmana. Manmana Bhavamad Bhakta. Your mind should be engaged always in Krishna. Ah. Krishna or Rama and which form you like, Vishnu form, or Lord Vishnu, Narayan. <coughs> Kapil Dev, there are innumerable forms of God. Addaita Yachiti Yanadi Ananta Rupam. So, Ram Nishinga, Varaha, Krishna, Kapil Dev, Balaram, there are so many forms. So, any one of them, whichever you like, everyone is just like Hanuman, uh, he, uh, he likes. Ramachandra forms, and Arjuna like Krishna's form. Mm. But there is no difference between Rama and Krishna. Rama di murti su kala niyame na tishthan nana avatar makarat bhuvane su kintu. Some, sometimes foolish people question us that uh, you are worshipping Krishna, why you do not worship Rama? But Rama and Krishna, there is no difference. But if anyone has got his liking, just like Hunuman has liking, to worship Lord Ramachandra. And the gopis has the liking to worship Krishna. That does not make any difference. It is like Jiza Thamang Prabhupada. Krishna, the Lord, uh, appears in a different way. Uh, sometimes the gopi, the Krishna, went away from the gopis. And the gopis were searching out Krishna. So in some place Krishna was sitting in the Vishnu form. So the gopis passed through that deity and they did not offer much respect. Oh, he is Vishnu. All right. Namaskar. Because they wanted to see Krishna. There is no difference between Krishna and Vishnu. But every devotee has got some inclination. I love Krishna. Ramadi Mutti Sukalan Yamena Tishtan. So therefore Krishna is all pervading in different uh, murtis. Therefore in the Vaishnava Sampradha, some of them they worship Radha Krishna, and some of them worship Sita Ram, and some of them worship Lakshmi Narayan, some of them worship Rukmini Krishna. There are so many devotees, but all of them are the same, Vishnu. All of them are, but not demigods. Vishnu, uh, to chanting Bhakti Yoga means to chant Vishnu, uh, Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu. And Vishnu has got so many forms. So either you chant Hare Ram or you chant Hare Krishna, it is the same. Uh, there is no difference. Uh, sometimes they first of all place Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Rama. And sometimes they place Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. There is no difference. Uh, sometimes they say, no, it should be Hare Rama first. Sometimes they say, no, Hare Krishna. But that is not very important, childish. Uh, any either you say Hare Rama, Hare, Hare Krishna, the same. So this is to be done. Tibrena bhakti yoga. So bhakti yoga begins with hearing. Savanam. Savanam kirtana. And if you have heard from the right source and if you are convinced, then automatically you'll try to perform kirtan. Kirtan means glorifying. Uh, if you have attained life or to preach, anyone who has Listen uh, from right person. 
authority about Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, eh, about Krishna or about Rama, you would like to preach that. That is automatic, uh, glorifying. Uh, that preaching is equal. That is called kīrtā. Uh, kīrtā or simply preaching, glorifying, or speaking about the Lord, that is also kīrtā. And performing kīrtā as we do here in the temple with Mridanga and Karta chanting, that is also kīrtā. Sukadeva uh, uh, Goswami explained Srimad Bhagavatam to Parikhita Maharaj. Uh, so, and Purikrit Maharaj simply listened to him carefully. This is Savanam Kirtanam. Uh, the Purikrit Maharaj is hearing, and Sukadeva Goswami is performing Kirtanam, describing uh, all the glories of the Lord. That is Kirtanam. So, Sri Vishnu, uh, Savane Purikrit, uh, how one devotee became liberated by performing one item only. There are nine items of devotional service. Savanam kīrtanam viṣṇu smaranam pādasīvanam archanam bandhanam dāsam sakham ātma nivedanam. So Parikhit Maharaj simply listened, savanam. He did not do other things. Still he was liberated. And Sukadeva Goswami, he simply chanted or described the glories of the Lord. He also became liberated. Sri Vishnu Samane Parikhit Ababad Bhaiya Saki Kirtan. Similarly, Samanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Prithu, Prithu Maharaj, he was simply remembering, no, Prithu Puja. And Pada Sevan, Lakshmi Devi, she simply gave massage to the Vishnu's lotus feet. And Arjun, simply he made friendship. And Hanumanji, he simply served the order of Lord Ramji. Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanivedana. Atmanivedana offering everything. Bali Maharaj, whatever he had, he gave to Bhavandev, everything. Whatever he possessed, even his body, he gave to Bhavan. Sarvatma Sapani, Abhavat Bali, Bali Maharaj. So there are different examples. So if you simply, at the present moment in this college, room, if you simply hear about Krishna, ah, Savanam, you don't require any education. You don't require to be a Ph.D. and M.S.C. God has given you the ear. You go to a person, realize so, and hear from him. Simply hear from him. That is recommended in this age, because people are very, very fallen. They have no education, they have no inclination, how to make perfect life. They do not know what is perfection of life. Uh, they think, if I can eat sensuously, uh, that is perfection of life. Udaram bharita. Shartham udaram bharita. In this age, if one man can eat very voraciously, he thinks my all interests are finished. Uh, he thinks. Because people are so I mean, hungry, hung, hungry, that uh, they think if I can get a sumptuous food, that is perfection of life. This is collision. Sartham oh, udaram bharita. Mm. That is stated in this one. One will feel that my all interest is now fulfilled because I am voraciously eating. Uh. <coughs> so, uh, we are hearing. This is one thing. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, recommended this process. Then, whatever condition you are, it does not matter. You simply uh, search out a devotee and hear from him. Uh, that is it. 
your heart. Sthane sthita suti gatang tanuvang mano vi. Sthane sthita. Whatever you are, there is no need of change because it is very difficult to change position. Better remain your position, but you hear about Krishna. That is our moment. Krishna consciousness moment is to give chance people to hear about Krishna. So many ways. Then even Krishna is ajito. Nobody can conquer Him. Simply by hearing uh, you conquer Krishna. Krishna will be very, very intimate friend of you. Simply by hearing. That is said also in the Srimad Bhagavad. Sinnatang sakatha Krishna punnat sravana kīrtana. Sinnatang. Sinnatang means hearing. Uh, Krishna is within everyone's heart. As soon as he sees that this man is hearing about me. Sinnatang sakatha Krishna. Krishna is the sub- subject. <coughs> Ramanati. Sinnata, when he, he sees that a person is interested in hearing, uh, then he takes care of him. Uh, because that is the beginning of bhakti. Sinnata, sakata, krishna, punna, sevana, kirta. Even if we do not understand, if we do not understand the philosophy, what Krishna says, still if we hear, <coughs> then he will be purified. Ah, you'll purify. That is the process of Hari Sankita. Uh, it doesn't require anybody to understand what is this Hare Krishna. But if he simply giving the chance of hearing, he becomes purified. That is one. Because without being purified, nobody can understand what is God, what is my relationship with God, who is God, what does He do, what is His name, what? nothing in dirty things within the heart, they cannot understand. Dirty things on account of sinful life, namāma duskitanam mūrhā prapaddhanti narādhamā. We are so much in this age uh, engaged in sinful activities. Uh, and the sinful activities are generally, the four pillars of sinful activities are illicit sex life, meat eating, intoxication, and gambling. This whole world is now full of all this business. There is regular gambling house, there is regular regular intoxication centers, regular slaughter house, and regular prostitution. This is the whole world, which are sinful life, illicit sex life, meat-eating, intoxication and gambling, that is prevalent all over the world. You'll find, organized by government, uh, this is going on. And within this dangerous condition of the human society, we have to push on Krishna consciousness. How difficult it is, uh, just imagine. But it's still, it is going on. But so many obstacles, so many obstacles. Uh, but we do not care for these obstacles. We must push on. This is our determination. Therefore it is called Tibrena Bhakti Yogi. Tibrena. Uh, there may be so many obstacles, but you must push on your moment. Tibrena Bhakti Yogi. That is our duty. Thank you very much.